Good morning, friends. Welcome back to my channel. Today is Friday. It has been another super crazy, hectic, busy week of orientations, meet the teachers, soccer tryouts, all the things. But today is the first day this week where I really don't have much planned. The only thing I need to do is a voiceover for this Sunday's cleaning video. I'm gonna do that in a minute, but I just got my workout in. As you guys saw, I made the kids their breakfast. I'm about to make my breakfast. I pre-made some ground turkey with Italian sausage and I've just been adding it into like breakfast burritos or into my eggs into salads just so I have a quick grab-and-go high protein option and it's super delicious so I think I'm gonna add some of that into my eggs this morning and then I'm gonna go get my voiceover done but I thought I would pick up the camera today and vlog since I'm not doing too too much I am really excited we're gonna be doing a little rearranging today some reorganizing. I think I mentioned it to you guys that I was gonna be getting a pantry. I can't remember if I did or not, but I got my pantry in. We've had it in the box for like, I don't know, probably a week, week and a half. We finally built it last night. It did take us quite a few hours, but thankfully it was like great quality wood. It was easy to put together. It just was time consuming, but we got it all the way done last night and I cannot wait to put the stuff in there. I first need to rearrange the dining room because that's where I'm gonna put it. It's just a little cluttered looking right now. So we're gonna be doing rearranging and then we're also gonna be putting the snacks in there. So I'm really excited to do that. And then we might be taking a trip to the dump too because I have all the boxes from the pantry that I need to get rid of because I just don't wanna clutter the garage again. But I definitely gotta get moving because it is 11.15 and I still have to do my voiceover which takes usually at least an hour, sometimes longer. So let's get busy so we can get the day started. So here is the meat. It is ground turkey, ground Italian sausage, jalapenos, some onions, salt, pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, and it is super good. First time I ever saw you, I fell in love when you entered the room. So the other day I attempted for the first time to make homemade protein bagels. This is how they turned out. They definitely don't look like a bagel. They lost the circle. I didn't have self rising flour so I did baking soda and then I think I did a little bit too much baking soda because they got really big and fluffy. But nonetheless, they still taste so good and they're really filling. I definitely recommend this recipe. I will link the recipe down below. But I'm gonna be doing ha I'm gonna be doing a whole bagel, and then I use some cream cheese spread, and then this homemade pepper jam. Uh, Courtney made me this. It is so good. I'm definitely going to be making this too. The recipe is really simple. It's just mainly like bell peppers, jalapenos, sugar. It's so stinking good. And then when you put it on the bagel, oh my gosh, bomb.com. But that's what I'm gonna be eating for breakfast. I also made one of them with jalapenos baked into it. So good, and then the everything but the bagel seasoning. finished my voiceover got the music done I'm uploading the video right now that took me so long it's already 120 so I wanted to rearrange the room first but I'm like you know what I should probably get to the dump first drop that off because it's kind of a pain in the butt I don't want to get stuck in work traffic and I can always rearrange my house later so I'm gonna go ahead brew some coffee load up my car put the boxes in there Head to the dump really quick and then we're gonna get back and I'm gonna show you guys my new pantry and we're gonna organize it. Get that room looking all good. I'm super excited. I did put a little bit of makeup on. I wanted to do my hair, but honestly, I'm like, what's the point? Tomorrow we're going to Ocean Breeze, which is a water park here. The kids have been begging to go to Ocean Breeze. So we finally have some time to go tomorrow. 
which works out good because it's right before school is about to start. So we're gonna go up there probably with my sister Danielle. I'm not sure if Courtney's gonna go. Courtney took her kids to Water Country last weekend and her kids are still pretty small. They're five and six and her five-year-old loved it. Her six-year-old did not. He was like scared of the water slides and stuff. So she's unsure if she wants to take them to Ocean Breeze because it's very expensive and if the kids don't really enjoy it, you know, it's kind of like, what's the point? It might just be my family and my sister Danielle and her husband, which will still be a lot of fun. My kids are really excited to go on big water slides again, so it should be a lot of fun but I really want to get like just everything out of the house because the dump is not open on Sundays and we're gonna be busy tomorrow so I need to get it done done dropping all the stuff in the dump thankfully it wasn't super busy they took us a back way this time it was pretty nice going through all the neighborhoods but now we're gonna head home Ethan has passed out in the back seat per usual got back from the dump ate a little snack and now I'm ready to start rearranging this room and show you guys my new pantry that I got from Costway and Costway was kind enough to gift me this which I am so excited about and if you guys have not heard of Costway definitely need to check out their website. They have so many great quality items at affordable prices. They have dressers, pantries, bed frames, cabinets, side dressers, and so much more to pick from. But let me show you guys my pantry. Here she is. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful, you guys. And whenever we're not using this for a pantry, whenever we move, I can use this for decorations, for storage, whatever I need to do. So they have two pull-out drawers. The quality is great. Everything was super easy to assemble. I have three different cabinets at the bottom. So nice, and you can change the position of your shelves on both the top and the bottom. I love the little cutouts right here. You can put like wine bottles or whatever you want. This is technically called a hutch, so if you wanted to, you could also put your microwave in here. And all together, this hutch can hold 150 pounds. It is heavy, but what's really nice is it comes apart in two different pieces, so you can take this top off, and whenever we're moving, it'll be easy to move it around without messing it up. This pantry is gonna be game-changing for me because y'all know I struggle with fitting everything over in the kitchen area. It's hard to get to, the stools are in the way, so I am so grateful to have this beautiful pantry from Costway. So thank you so much Costway for gifting us this. They also offered a discount code. So make sure you guys check my description for all the information to look this up and to check out what else they have online. I know you guys will find some amazing products that are really affordable, great quality. But as you can see, this is what our dining room is looking like. It's looking a little cluttered in here. Obviously my bins aren't staying in here. This is for my fall decor which let me show you guys if you don't watch my cleaning channel I did deep clean and decorate the living room look how pretty I'm so excited for fall y'all so I pulled out my fall stuff oh you waving say hi um I pulled out the fall stuff and decorated the living room but I want to decorate the dining room but obviously I'm not going to do that until I rearrange everything so let's go ahead move some things around, figure out what I can do. I'm thinking about turning the table this like long ways right here um, and then possibly either shifting this over or moving this over here. 
um, because it does fit. I measured it already. I could put it over there, but we're gonna play around with it and see what it looks like. been stronger I'm up in the clouds when you're around but when you're not it's getting much harder and I'm falling down down I'm falling down I see your face on all of the pages I'm not gonna lie I kind of like the catty corner look but what I'm thinking, I think this definitely needs to go over here. I think it's too close to that. So let's move that and see how it looks. In the scrapbook of my mind To put it down for a while takes ages Then I'm falling down, down, I'm falling down I'm thinking of Okay, this is what we got going on. I feel like it looks good. Our furniture is definitely um, different colors, but I think space-wise, I think this looks really good. I can't imagine we'll be keeping this in our dining room whenever we move. We'll probably have that, I don't know, in a different space. The more that I look at it, I wonder if I move the table underneath the photo and just like shift it over, if that would look okay. I don't know. I'm going to see what it looks like and then I'll probably move it back, but I just need to see if it'll look okay. It looks good. I don't know. I'm kind of feeling the table over here. I don't know. I can't decide. I'm so indecisive, you guys. I just like how it looks so much opened up. Like whenever I look through here, I'm like, oh, it's not super jam-packed with stuff. I don't know. I mean, it's just weird because you have the light in the center of the room. But besides that, I feel like, I don't know. I kind of like it. Let me know down in the comments which way you think I should do it. I just texted my husband a picture of both ways. I'm gonna see what he thinks too.
went into the shed, got some more of my bins. I'm gonna wipe them down a little bit because they are a little dusty. And then I'll put the rest of the snacks in one of these. I wanted to show you guys these built bars. They are the new puff cookie dough chunk. They have collagen in them. If you guys have tried the old built bars and you know that texture, that really soft, almost like marshmallowy texture, these are even softer. They are addicting. I have almost a half of the box and I got them just a few days ago. They are so good. Definitely check them out. I do have a code with built. So if you want to save some extra money, use my code Forbes at checkout. These are the protein bars that I've been giving the kids. They absolutely love these. They say the peanut butter ones are their favorite. They say it tastes just like Reese's. These are a really good protein bar too you can find at Sam's Club. call it a day with organizing the pantry I am pooped <laughs> I feel so exhausted just because this week has been so hectic and crazy well last week too oh, I'm just ready to sit down and relax so I think that's good enough for today I'll show you guys what it looks like so far I do have a Sam's Club pickup coming in on Sunday I wanted to save it for right before school that way the kids don't get into all the snacks you know how it is when there's new food and snacks in the house, the kids just wanna eat everything. So I figured I would hold off and do the grocery shopping on Sunday. And then I'm gonna get some random things from Kroger. I've been trying to put in my order all day through the Kroger app and for some reason it keeps saying there's like a technical error. If I pick a different Kroger, it'll like go through, but if I try to do the one that's close to my house, it keeps messing up. So at this point, I'm thinking about just picking it up at a different Kroger because I can't get it to work for our local one. And I really wanna get some other stuff for dinner and whatnot. So. We'll see what I end up doing with that, but let me show you guys the pantry. So I decided to put some of the cute containers up here because 
It still looks aesthetic. It doesn't look super messy or anything. I only have one over here. I might move some other stuff into containers. I took a lot of it out of containers because the containers wouldn't fit in the cabinets. And then I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep this right here. I'm gonna see how I feel about it. I don't know. Um, but for right now, I'm gonna put our little fruit basket right here. And then I'm gonna keep our bread and tortillas in this one. And then this drawer is gonna be like my stuff. So I have my overnight oats my favorite tuna packs, these little lentil pouches. And then I wanted to put the cans in here too. I stacked all the cans down at the bottom. I tried to put like similar ones together. That way I know what I have. And then I have my protein bars. And then this will be like the other sides and dinner items and then other snacks if we need to fit them in here. But I have all like the mac and cheese, the noodles, cornbread, Nutella, peanut butter. And then over here we have the snacks. I have them mostly all in a bin, fairly organized. I know I'm gonna have to put some into this one after we pick up our curbside pickup. But that is everything. And then I need to clean all this. The house is such a mess now, um, but underneath here, I pretty much have majority of it. I might move some of this other stuff later. I'm just, I'm so done right now. So I'm gonna fix that. Um, and then I plan on moving all the drinks underneath here as well, cause these are mainly for my husband. And then up here is my other like baking items, but they're not as aesthetic. So I don't want to put them in the open shelves. I can just leave that up there. This is easy to get to. It was mainly all of down here. That was super frustrating to get to. And then I have this. I still need to move a couple things. These are all my supplements, which I don't know. I honestly might just leave them in here because I have so many. It'll just take up a lot of space. So we'll see what I'm going to do with that. Um, and then this was the bottom one for their snacks. It's all empty. I will be cleaning those here soon. I did want to show you guys, I got all of my fall scents in. I put an order in through Grove and they had the bundle where you can get all four fall scented multi-purpose sprays. So I have fall leaves, the apple cider, acorn spice, which has always been my favorite, and then mum. I haven't smelled mum before until now. This is a very like floral scent. It smells good, not my favorite but the fall leaves <laughs> smell so good. It's a little bit more of like a perfume scent, but I really, really love this. But for fall scent to get like the fall vibes, Acorn Spice is definitely my number one scent. If you guys have not tried the Mrs. Myers fall scented sprays, you definitely should check them out. They smell so good. Um, but they do have a deal right now where you can get all four of them. I want to say it was between 15 and $20, but I will link it down below. And if you've never shopped through Grove before, I can share a referral link and you'll get 30% off of your first order. So you should definitely take advantage of that because these scents are so good. I think I'm going to go ahead and order some more because I tried to get my fall scented ones off of Amazon. And of course they jacked up the cost. It used to be like 15 dollars you could get three sprays which is average usually it's about five dollars a bottle um but now it was like 25 dollars. i was like i'm not doing that but grove has them for cheaper so i think i'm gonna place my order through grove so i can stock up on my fall scents and i think i'm gonna be getting some more fall leaves and acorn spice for sure it is already time to get the kids dinner going and I wanted to show you guys, I made this yesterday. It is going to be a new staple recipe in our house. I'm gonna make it again this week because it was so good. I know in here it doesn't look appetizing, <laughs> but this is called cowboy cornbread casserole. And it's ground beef with corn, beans, tomatoes, salsa, taco seasoning. And then you layer the top with cornbread and you mix like sour cream in the cornbread and cream of corn oh my goodness y'all that is delicious definitely gonna be a staple in our house my husband loved it so we have leftovers I have two containers of that and then I also have just some good old taco meat 
I made tacos the other day and so I'm gonna let the kids pick if they want tacos or the leftover casserole. I'm definitely eating the casserole because it was bomb.com. I'll definitely leave the recipe down in the description. I got it off of Pinterest, but I did make a little substitution because I didn't realize I needed cream corn for the cornbread. I somehow misread it as cream of chicken. So I bought cream of chicken and I used the cream of chicken instead of the cream corn and it still turned out really delicious. So whenever I make it properly, I'll let you know, maybe it'll be better with the cream of chicken instead of the cream of corn. But I don't know how I messed that up. Either way, it still turned out really delicious. So if you don't have cream of corn on hand, you can use the cream of chicken. And for the first week of school, I wanted to make sure I planned ahead and I really want to start budgeting better because I've been slacking. So I planned out breakfast, lunches, dinners, and dessert ideas. That way I know exactly what to buy. I planned everything out before I grocery shop. Good morning, y'all. It is Saturday. We are getting ready to go to Ocean Breeze. Boys. Um, I have coolers packed, towels. It says online we're allowed to bring water bottles, so hopefully they're gonna let us bring water bottles in. I packed our lunches. That way we can go to the car, eat the lunch, save a little money that way. But Courtney and Danielle are going, so I'm super excited. It should be a lot of fun waiting to hear if everyone is ready to head out. Hopefully I can get some footage on my phone. I did end up ordering some waterproof cases and they seem to work really well. So hopefully it all works out and I can get a little bit of footage. Just pulled up, about to head in once everybody gets here. Oh, my phone. They're all over here. Yeah, isn't that cool? <laughs> man, tell that boy to eat some steaks, man, so he can get down there. <laughs> Is it fun? about to ride this one. Get some. <laughs> 